Hey guys, this is Steve with Tronix Fix. Today we're looking at our modified Xbox One S that we put an aftermarket fan in to check and see what the temperature is after about three hours of gameplay. Now there are a couple things to keep in mind before we talk about the results of our test today. The, the first thing is that our, my previous test with an Xbox One S temperature is that I played it for about 20 minutes and then tested the temperature and that came out at about 100 degrees Fahrenheit or 38 degrees Celsius. Now this Xbox One S has been modified with an aftermarket fan, the Silent Wings 3, and I've played it for about three hours. So at some point I do need to check an unmodified Xbox One S after playing it for three hours so I can really test the true difference between the modified and the unmodified. And I'll be testing that very soon, just keep an eye on the channel for that. Before we get started here, another thing to keep in mind is with this infrared temperature tester, it can actually go down through the holes and actually the dot can be right on the heat sink. So these temperatures are going to seem a little bit high compared to things like the PS4 and PS4 Pro where I can only test the output air of the console because I can't get the dot in on the actual heat sink. So with that being said, let's go ahead and check the temperature on this. So highest temperature reading is 66 Celsius, which is 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Now as I said, that does seem high but that is also partially because I can actually get the dot right on the heat sink. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to test, try and test just the output air above the heat sink itself. So with it right above the heat sink itself and just testing the output air, we're getting 50, the, the highest temperature was 55 degrees Celsius or 131 degrees Fahrenheit. And just as a comparison, the PS4 Slim after five hours of gaming was 55 degrees Celsius and the PS4 Pro was 56 degrees Celsius. So this modification with this fan actually seems to bring it about in line with the PS4 Pro and the PS4 Slim. So it doesn't seem to run as cool as the original fan on the Xbox One S, but it does seem to run cool enough to not cause any problems. So the next thing we're gonna check is the decibel level. Now previously on the Xbox One S, on this one, when I first tested it without the modification, it came right in at 40 decibels. So let's check and see how loud it is now. And right now it's running at 35 decibels. I did see it go up to 38 decibels for just a second. So this gives us an idea that this aftermarket fan probably is a little bit quieter, but also keep in mind on my Xbox One S, the fan really wasn't very loud at all compared to what some people have said theirs are. So this modification was just done to see if it could be done and see which fans work the best. It wasn't done because my fan was actually that loud even. So the modification does seem to have made the fan quieter, but it also has made it run hotter than the original fan on the Xbox One S, which actually makes sense because the original fans are made just for this and they're actually very efficient and they seem to cool this thing really, really well. So unfortunately, there's not really a good option to make it quieter and cool better. You have to give up a little bit of that, that cooling in order to get a quieter fan on this console. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day and leave any questions or comments in the comments section.